At the MIT Department of Facilities, we look at our interior spaces in 3D to plan and manage our campus. In facilities, we have a GIS data set that's rich, and it contains a lot of our assets, ranging from campus lighting to our trees to our 160 buildings, which we can model in detail. At MIT, we are located in an urban environment. We have, 14 million, we have 12 million square feet of floor space, and we're situated on a 159-acre campus in the city of Cambridge. If you do the math, you'll find that we actually have more floor area than we do land area. And this means that space is of a premium, and we spend a lot of our time and resources managing resources inside the buildings and across the campus. GIS is the natural integrator for this. And what we've done is create a process that's taken our interior spaces, brought them inside the buildings, and allowed us to view departmental trends across the campus. MIT has a lot of laboratories and offices, but we also have a lot of residences and classrooms and other uses that are spread across the campus. Oftentimes, in our planning, we want to see what a certain department has and where they're located. So for example, if we want to look at the Department of Biology, we can see that they have a lot of laboratory space in a single building, as you can see in these dark blue rooms. If we look at another department, such as chemistry, we can see that they also have a lot of lab space, but they're in multiple buildings, and they're on multiple floors of these buildings. You make me lose my... <laughs> Thank you. So being able to view the data this way has proven to be incredibly valuable for our planners in our space management process, and has allowed our planners to have more informed decisions about what we should do with our institute space. So since we have these geographic locations of our rooms, it was fairly easy for us to create a geocoder for all of our rooms based on the room number, as you can see with these green dots. So a recent use for this geocoder was for an analysis we performed for our parking superintendent. During the construction of one of our parking lots, which you can see by this red pushpin, our superintendent wanted to know where the permit holders were that would park in this lot. So he gave us a room list, and we simply geocoded it to see where they were. We were then able to calculate the distances from these permit holders to the lot, and we were able to identify candidates that could be moved to other closer alternate parking areas. Thanks. So, with this locator, we're able to locate any room across campus, giving its room number. And what's exciting about ArcGIS 9.3 is that we're able to perform true 3D selections in 3D space. So, by accessing the ArcObjects API, we can take a selected room, and we can search in all directions to find all the rooms that are within that radius. So, as you can see here, not all the rooms have been selected in this high-rise. And it's actually, with this radius, has selected a couple rooms in the top floor of our adjacent dormitory. So we can explore the selected attributes in the attribute table and get a room list, or we can further chart the data to get estimates of populations during the day and evening hours. So, excuse me. Um, this is going to be incredibly important for other things such as emergency response or even something as simple as noise mitigation of complaints for noise during construction projects. So we like this idea so much, we took it to the streets, literally. And in the Boston area, there is a proposal to create a transportation network through uh, the surrounding communities in Boston. They've dubbed this the Urban Ring. And a lot of the scenarios that they have for this bus and light rail service is cutting through our campus. And since we're a research institution that does a lot of research that's sensitive to vibration and electromagnetic fields, it's important for us to understand what these proposals can mean to us and the uses in our buildings. So what we're seeing here is a true 3D selection from the center line of the road, and it's selecting the rooms that are within this corridor. We can run the scenario for the different options that they're proposing for the urban ring, and we can further chart the data to understand what uses could be impacted. As we see in this particular scenario, over 230 laboratories could be affected by an increase in traffic on this road. So being able to bring our GIS inside our buildings and to look at things across our campus and using these new 3D operators in ArcGIS 9.3 are proving to be incredible tools for us for planning and management of our campus. It's allowing us to better understand our resources, and it's helping us plan for an even better MIT in the future. Thank you.